Hi everyone, and welcome to my tutorial on how to use subsplits with LiveSplit for Superliminal. I'm Sam Wise, and today I'll be detailing where and how to get the subsplit names, how to enable the correct auto splitter, and how to set up your layout appropriately. I'll leave timestamps in case you've already figured out some steps on your own and want to skip ahead. If you're trying to figure out why your normal live split settings aren't working, check out my other Superliminal live split tutorial or ask in our Superliminal speedrun discord, both of which are linked below. Now let's get into it. Depending on what category you want subsplits for, I have direct download links in the description. The three main subsplit uses are for marking checkpoints in glitchless runs, collectibles in runs like all collectibles or all achievements, and challenge completions in challenge mode speedruns. The LSS files are essentially split files that you can directly open in LiveSplit, which will contain the correct number of splits and the corresponding names. You can theoretically create them yourself, but since the formatting for subsplits is a little different, using downloaded splits will save you some time. I'll be using challenge mode as an example since that's what I run. Now that we have the correct LSS file downloaded and opened in LiveSplit, let's talk about the auto splitter. If you're running on main categories, such as glitchless or all collectibles, then we can just use the normal auto splitter. Make sure it's activated and go to settings. Here you'll see several checkboxes and depending on what you're running, you can select different options. Individual level is only for IL runs. Don't check it if you're doing full game run throughs, otherwise you won't pause the timer on loads. Split on checkpoints works for glitchless runs and the options underneath depends on your routes and if you miss certain checkpoints. The parking lot option is for Labyrinth. There's a checkpoint in the center of the elevator that triggers the parking lot area and is missable, shown here. The walkthrough shadow option is in white space after dropping into the grayscale filing cabinet room and is also missable, shown here. These splits are turned off by default, so turn them on if you consistently pass through them. There's one more missable checkpoint in induction when jumping down to the two button sign room, shown here. This is on by default, so just delete the split if you know that you consistently jump over this checkpoint in your runs. If you're not sure about your route, have live split hotkeys ready to go in case you hit too many or too few checkpoint splits. For collectibles, each type of collectible has a separate split option. Make sure that you have the correct number of splits depending on what you select, and that you've tested your route before you start grinding runs. It hurts to get to the end of the run and realize that your timer either stopped early or isn't going to stop at all. Now that we've got the subsplit names and main category auto splitter set up, let me show you how to change the layout. Right click on live split to bring up the menu and click on edit layout. You see the splits entry? Let's delete it. Now click on the plus icon on the left side and under list we'll see subsplits. Click on that and then bring it up right under the title. If you're doing a main category and already have the auto splitter set up from before, go ahead and hit OK, save the layout, and restart live split to make sure all the changes are saved and work correctly. If you're doing a category extension like challenge mode, I'll show you how to add the custom auto splitter in the layout editor. Go ahead and hit the add button again. This time we'll go to control and scriptable auto splitter. Double click this new setting to bring up the editor and set the script path. If you haven't already downloaded the appropriate custom splitter, I've linked them in the description as ASL files. Click on Browse and select the right file, then hit OK twice, save your layout, and restart live split. Now let's test it and make sure it works. I'll go ahead and load up induction in challenge mode just to test the first challenge. If I were doing this for the first time, I'd do a longer test, but generally, if it starts when it should, advances at the appropriate triggers, and stops for pauses and loads, that's all you need. If you run into issues, make sure you've restarted both live split and super liminal. That generally fixes problems with the timer starting. Otherwise, make sure you're using the right auto splitter and are actually hitting all of the split triggers. If that still doesn't work, feel free to ask in the Discord. Someone should be open to help you out. So that should cover most everything having to do with sub splits for super liminal. Think I missed something? Let me know in the comments or on the Discord. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.